Hello listeners, this is Arthur once again from Paranormal Stories. Hopefully you guys like my last stories. If you like my last stories, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel. If you have stories, if you want to share it with me, contact me in my email. I will give my email address in description also you can see it in the screen let's start today's story a village a little beautiful sweet village there is almost five or ten ambulances live together they are not is there poor in that village there is a man who is fluidus he always play music as music is so sweet and nice everyone liked it one day one day a man saw that he play music but there is many snake are dancing around him the animals also like his music the man was so poor he don't have house he don't have family he when he felt very sad he go to the pond uh, there was a big pond in that village he go to the pond in there is a tree a big tree he always sit down there and play music and feel peace one day he told a man i think i will die very soon i'm not okay i feel always sad every time every moment when i go to sleep i feel bad dream i will not live anymore i will die very soon the man said don't talk like a foolish you are a good guy you are a good honest guy everyone like you don't be sad if you feel sad you can come here and talk with me you don't need any permissions the sweetest the man go away he when he go to his living place he fall asleep in that time was midnight he used to play his play his fluid how oh, he was music a sweet music was played a sweet music when he start to play he noticed that he was not alone but in there he was alone he feel something was around me something was watching me he don't didn't don't he didn't care he is to play a very sweet song a sweet music but one day he died his date was not but after he died people of the pillars people of the pillars the all villagers hear his music but he he was died he, he was died they always listen his music they was his girl to what happened a man was come for shopping when he done his shopping he gone to his room he was going to his room in that moment he feel something someone called him the voice is kamal kamal is the piper you can call first he looked behind and saw nothing he saw a black shadow in the inner sudden he saw a black shadow in front of him was running who is they when he said who is this who is running the black shadow said you don't know me i am the fuse i came here for play my music 
if you want to hear me come with me the man was scared because the fluidist kamal was dead in the morning villagers hear a sweet fluid music they all are scared where the music came from after a while a little boy ran to the market and ran to the market and hold a man and say there there there, there is something that there, there is something and he says this when everyone give him a glass of water the little boy talk i saw kama i saw kama in the pond i was playing in there i saw kama in the pond every villager share the music hear the music of fluids they go there with weapons when they went there they saw nothing but after they will they i heard that music up to the tree they watch carefully they saw kamal was sitting kamal was sitting in a branch of a tree he used to play music everyone is scared and run away from them they called a priest the priest come to the the priest came to the pond and said to the sheriff of kamal hey my son why you are there sit down come to me you are already dead why you are sitting in here if there is something please talk with me no one answer then another time he said if there is something please talk with me in that time the things try to talk the his voice was hurt his voice was was scary he said i liked kamal music i always hear him when he tried to play music i was i was standing there behind him he didn't see me but i like his music very much he is dead i feel lonely when he tried to when he tried to play music in his fluid i always used to try it one day i saw kama sitting at midnight i was there because there was a bad entity around him i was there no one can no one can do anything the kamal played a music i feel so happy so pleased so pleased kamal is dead i feel so bad that's why i came here and used to play his pipe that we said you cannot do this he is dying every villager sir is scared from you why you are doing this you are another dimension people you are jinnat you are jin everyone will be scared no one will feel peace in your music you should go from here the shadow said i will not go anywhere my my home is here i don't want to go anywhere i promise you i will never disturb anybody but you you villagers please pray for kamal he is not good he is not good in his grave guys this is a short story hopefully you like it this story is not horror but this story is emotion now i am going to tell you another story a story about a black magic magic who doesn't like black magic okay let's start the story a little boy was playing in a field 
After his after his completing day, he went to his home. But he told his mother, "My baby is failing. My baby is failing." And she, it, one of a sudden, it, uh, blood come through his mouth and nose. His father mother take him to a hospital. The hospital doctor said he uh, what he eaten, but his mother said he ate nothing. The boy was shouting loudly at the time. He was shouting loudly. He was saying, "Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Go away. Go away." Doctor check his nerves, but everything was normal. Every report was normal, but the the boy was shouting loudly. The doctor said, "It is not eye stroke. It is not a ulcer. Maybe it is a brain stroke. You should contact with a brain specialist." In that night, the boy used to shout it loudly, and in a couple of minutes, he told his father that, "Father, they will bring me with them. They will not leave." They will not give me peace. Please save me from them. They are here. They are big, big shadows. I saw big, big shadows. His father didn't care. He thought his boy is mentally sick. In that night, the boy he started. The boy he started to cry. The doctor came and checked his nerves. In that time. The boy, in that time, blood came through his mouth and nose. The doctor gave him blood. His father was there, sleeping behind him. When he woke up in midnight, he saw his son wasn't there. He told all of the staff, "Where is my son? Can please, if you saw him." No one doesn't know where he is. Everyone trying to find him, but he was nowhere. His father then go to toilet. He thought maybe his son is there. There was his son. He was laying behind the commot, and the blood bag was cutted, and the blood. Go through his body. He bring his boy to his. He bring a child to his doctor. The doctor said, "What happened to him? Why he went there?" It no answer from anywhere. The doctor, uh, but the doctor check his nerve, check his belly, but nothing. So then the boy told his father. Told his father that when I was sleeping, I saw someone just put my blood bag and told me, "Please come with me." I thought it's you. I came, I came, and I walk, I walk, I walk. Then I discovered myself. I was in the rooftop of this building. I saw a nurses, three nurses. They are wearing nurse dress, but their head wasn't there. Their head was behind their back. The little boy didn't understand what he was seeing. He ran away. When he ran away, he fell down from the stairs. When he fell down from the stairs, he saw a nurse. Which was totally big, more than six feet or seven feet. But she doesn't have any head. Without head, he came to him. He came and take the blood bag and mash it. All the blood was in his body. He ran away and he fell asleep. He fell senseless in the washroom. His father said, "My." I understand. My father said to his doctor, "I think my 
boy is mentally disordered. I should call a brain specialist. In that time, everyone noticed the boy used to bleed. The blood is come through his mouth and nose and ears. The doctor, the doctor, told him bring him to another hospital. There is a doctor. He will save him. He will save him. The uh, the boy was taken to an ambulance. When the boy is in ambulance, his father said. His father said to his son, "What happened to you? What happened to you, my little boy? What happened to you? Why you are doing this? What you are seeing?" The boy said, "Father, I told you I will not live any longer. I will die. They will bring me to them. They are demon." His father, his father was crying. His father was crying. His mother was crying. When they go in the hospital, the doctor check his nerves and give him some tests. The uh, the boy was so weak he can't do anything with him. Doctor take his blood and say to his father wait for report. But in that time the boy used to bleed once again. The bleed. The blood come through his mouth and nose and ears. The matter of sorrow, the boy was tied, and the boy head was in her father hand. His father was shocked. His father was shocked. After his death, his father, his father told the doctor, "My son have any disease." Cancer or something. The doctor said that your son haven't done has nothing, nothing problem. But why he died, we can understand. His father was too much shock, and he he died after one years. He died because of his stone. After his death. The mother of the boy was so upset. What happened to his family? His boy died weirdly. His husband died. Then he was sitting a uh, bench. His husband, his husband has two brother. The uh, the youngest brother came and told him, told her. Sorry, please forgive me. I am in very bad position. I feel bad dreams. I feel, I feel, I feel bad dreams. I can sleep. I, I can, I. What um, what I'm going, what I want to say, you cannot understand. I talk with a black magician and. When your son came to my house, I gave him a biscuit, and that biscuit was given to the black magician. The ma black magician crafted in there. For that biscuit, your son died. I was the only one who killed your son. Please forgive me. I will die soon because the demon was trying to kill me. I was very upset. I am very upset. Please forgive me. So, guys. Don't be a black magician. Stay calm. These two stories are not horror story, I think, but this story is. These two stories are two stories about emotions. Hopefully, guys, you like my story. If you like my story, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel. If you have stories, please email me your stories. The email address in description box and the screen. Thank you, guys.